Hello. It's my pleasure to, to make this presentation about the, the value of transient elastography, so-called fibroscan, uh, that is used for uh, follow-up uh, in, in, uh, during the time in patients with uh, chronic ACV infection that are was treated with uh, direct-acting uh, antiviral drug. Uh, this uh, presentation comes from the Department of Gastroenterology to the University of uh, Medicine Timisoara in Romania. Here, then, we have here the, the screen of the fibroscan or uh, transient elastography. We have here two probes. We have M and XL probe, uh, M for normal uh, weight patient and XL for obese or overweight patient. And we have here the results uh, expressed in kilopascal, the, the tip of the liver, then expression of the fibrosis. And we have here to the quantification of steatosis by, by care. But our uh, purpose in this study was only to look to the uh, stiff. Uh, our core consists in 342 patients with ACV infection, in which we have um, um, transient elastography evaluation before the treatment and uh, after the treatment. For all this cohort, we have before and 12 weeks after the, um, the treatment, then to the end of the treatment. Then we have uh, transient elastography evaluation to the start of the treatment, to the end of the treatment, and for uh, uh, cohorts 12 weeks after the, the treatment, so-called SBR12, then we have SBR24, SBR48, and SBR96, then quite clear of follow-up of part of the patient. Which are the criteria that we use? We must have 10, 10 valid liver team measurement with MOX probe. This, uh, this uh, probe and the use of this probe is given by, by the machine and all the patient was in fasting condition for all the evaluation. No fasting increased the, the stiff of the liver. And the reliable stiff liver stiff measurement was defined uh, the mean value of 10 measurement with an intercalary range uh, that is uh, on median below 30, like a, a parameter of then in this uh, cartoon we can see our cohort. These are the patients that was evaluated uh, to the start of the treatment, to the end of the treatment, and then 12 and 24 weeks after this, uh, this uh, from the end of the treatment. 65 of them was evaluated, uh, included to SBR 48, that's one year after the, the end of the treatment, and 48 patients was evaluated to to 96 uh, weeks after the end of the treatment, then SBR 96. What we obtain here, then the um, SBR 12 uh, value are uh, significant lower than compared with the start of the treatment. From 20.1 kilopascal, the value uh, became 16.2 kilopascal, this is highly significant. If we compare uh, SBR 12 with uh, SBR 24, then uh, 12 weeks later on, we can see a slight decrease from 60.2 to, uh, to 15 uh, kilopascal. Then if we compare, if we compare SVR24 with SVR48, uh, this uh, value continues to, to, to decrease from 16 to uh, 14.1. And if we have this patient for uh, in a subgroup of uh, 40 patients, then we look then uh, to the SVR 96, that means quite clear of follow-up, we, we can see then we have a significant decrease in comparison with SVR 12. And this is 13.9 uh, from 16.9. And again, this is highly significant. In this cartoon, you have a better uh, representation of the decrease uh, of the value. And uh, we can see then we start here, we are SVR12 here, then we have here SVR24, we continue to decrease SVR48, and finally we have this uh, decrease uh, 96 weeks after the end of the treatment. We can see that the main decrease of the value are in uh, from the start of the treatment to SVR12, 
in, in a period of uh, uh, 24 weeks because we have the uh, end of treatment summary here and we have SVR12 then our value uh, six uh, months later. Why? Probably here is the, the sharp decrease is gave by disappearance of the inflammation, not only fibrosis. Well, this is the, the moment of the truth here, and from this moment we can see that the, this decrease is uh, not so uh, strong. It's a decrease, but it's not so strong like in the first uh, period of the disease. And then finally, we uh, we can see then uh, this uh, looking by transient elastography in patient before and after the treatment for uh, for different period of time. We can see the they are uh, decreasing continuously during in this uh, follow-up period, and uh, the most important decrease was observed in the first uh, six months from the start of the treatment to the 12 weeks after the, the end, so-called SVR12. And uh, if we look enough uh, long time, then it's SVR96. We can see this uh, that this decreasing is uh, slightly decreasing, uh, comparing with uh, with uh, the start of the treatment. For uh, your attention.